What is up, my butter biscuits? Y'all, within today's video, I feel like it's actually going to be a short video. I know I said in my last video, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a short video, and then I like ramble forever as usual, but there's really not too much to talk about within today's video. I was actually just watching Spill Sesh's video about James Charles, and I was like, oh my God, we have not talked about James Charles in so long. And I'm like, hasn't he talked about his brand for like two, three years now? Like, I know it takes a long time to obviously make products and approve things and like, you know, work out the logistics of everything. I totally get that. But it's been like years now. And then he actually did a little Q&A on his Instagram talking about his brand. So that's what I wanted to talk about within today's video. Also, I have like a lot of questions moving forward with his brand. Obviously, I'd like such kind of like a hard time because everyone and their mom literally has a makeup brand or skincare brand these days. I wonder how it's actually going to do, especially I wonder if it's just going to be an e-commerce brand only because I don't know how things would actually work out with like Alta or Sephora if they would do business with him, being that he was obviously linked to a whole lot of controversy just, you know, within the past couple years. But I do want to say just like him and Jeffrey, I feel like they really have been laying low out of drama and I feel like that's actually really cool. I feel like they're like learning from their mistakes and I think that it sucks obviously when you make these mistakes. It's like really, really hard to move on because I feel like, or move forward I should say, because so many people keep on bringing it up. So I'm really curious to know how that's going to affect his brand and how well it's going to do, you know, with obviously all of that drama. So we're gonna be taking a little dive into his Q&A over on Instagram because I really am curious to know about his brand and if any of you guys actually are going to be supporting it or are we all just over makeup brands at this point? I see like, so many celebrities just continuously coming out with makeup brands and like skincare. I saw Sierra's now coming out with skincare and I'm like, it's just so, I don't know. I feel like it's like overkill at this point. I feel like being that there is so many brands out there, I feel like it's really difficult. And I don't know, maybe he should have done something different other than a makeup brand. But I will tell you guys, like it literally still, I see all these brands and it literally was always my dream. I'm honestly giving up on that completely. I'm never going to come out with a brand, but it was my dream for the longest period of time to come out with a brand. So I totally get it, you know, and chase after your dreams. But I don't know when the uh, market is just so oversaturated with product. It's like, oh, it's a little bit overwhelming, you know? Anyways, y'all, let me stop rambling. Make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my second channel down below. I'll go ahead and leave the link. I'm actually going to be posting videos there every single Sunday. That is my travel channel with my brother. I am so beyond excited for this channel. You guys have no idea. We did film about six videos, so I do have the next six weeks already lined up um, after, you know, next Sunday. Um, but I am, I'm gonna let you guys know, like, we're a little bit awkward at first being because I finally got over my like stage fright of filming in public. I literally have never filmed in public. So I'm letting you guys know right off the bat. It's a little bit awkward at first, a little bit awkward, but I feel like towards the end of everything, like after our six videos, like we're super comfortable, you know what I mean? But there's always just that like awkward period, especially when we're like not used to filming in public, but I am so excited for that channel. Like, I don't know, for some reason, I just got this whole new sense of like inspiration to do a travel channel. So make sure you guys check that out down below. The first video will be going up next Sunday. So anyways, let me shut up and let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so like I said earlier, James Charles was doing a little bit of a Q&A on his stories um, on Instagram and somebody had asked the comment right here when's the makeup brand launching and i just want to let you guys know like i feel like years ago like it must have been about three years ago now he was talking about his brand and i feel like that's why before he got a little bit frustrated and you know what i'm gonna be honest with you guys i do understand his frustration i feel like that's why before he got frustrated with like lauren conrad and her brand and like alicia keys you know i feel like when you obviously are in the makeup space and you're like one of the main makeup people it's kind of frustrating to see so many people come out with a brand and you're trying to come out with a brand too so i get it it's kind of like damn more and more competition I totally get that. However, at the end of the day, if everyone wants to come out with a makeup brand, hey, let them. You know what I'm saying? I feel like at the end of the day, it's up to people to decide if they're going to be purchasing these products or not. And that's really why I wanted to make this video because I'm so curious to know who's gonna purchase from his brand. I will say this, I'm gonna let you guys know like right off the bat, you guys know I don't have anything like against James Charles. I do feel like he has obviously made lots of mistakes. However, like you guys know time and time again, I'm gonna say it all forever. I'm the type of person that if somebody grows from their mistakes, then I give them chances. And I don't have anything against James Charles. And I feel like if he comes out with something that catches my eye, I will most likely do a review of it. So. Anyways, this is what it says right here. Um, his answer to when is the makeup brand launching? My goal was holiday of this year, but unfortunately it's not gonna happen because I'm a perfectionist and didn't get my formula approved in time. My lab was ready to kill me, but it's officially done now, so we're full steam ahead, which is amazing. Lots of lessons learned for future launches. I'm not happy about it, but I'd rather, I'd rather take my time and make sure everything is perfect, and honestly, the first launch makes more sense for spring anyways, which really makes me curious what he's going to be coming out with. I wonder if there's gonna be any type of like 
like pastels or florally this or florally that. You know what I'm saying? I am curious to know if he is going to be coming out with an eyeshadow palette being that supposedly he had like the best selling palette of all time, which I still want to know where these records are. I always said that like even at Mac, you know what I mean? I'm like, I want to know how other brands know that they're competing with each other. How do they know how many units are being sold? Do you know what I mean? I wish this was public information because I really would like to know how many palettes were sold by, um, Morphe for his Morphe collaboration palette because I know everyone and their mom had that palette but like for it to be considered like the most sold palette ever like where's the numbers for this because I feel like Jeffree Star even said that as well too with the Shane Dawson collab with the conspiracy whole collection so I'm kind of like where are the numbers for this I really want to know it just makes me curious and then I really am curious to know if he is going to be coming out with a palette because let's keep it real like I pers I wanted to make like a full separate video about eyeshadow palettes y'all know that I love eyeshadow palettes I have such a big collection of eyeshadow palettes but I kind of feel like they're dying it's because like every single like formula has been done every single color story has been done it is just so overkill at this point so i really am curious to know if he is going to be coming out with an eyeshadow palette or not i kind of hope he comes out with different products you know what i'm saying like don't come out with like the same old oh lip gloss and an eyeshadow palette because it's like oh my gosh everyone and their mom does that you know what i mean so anyways this is the uh, next question right here pertaining to his brand he uh somebody commented do you wish you would have done this sooner makeup is as uh, well i think they meant to say makeup is isn't as popular as it was but they put makeup is as popular as it was but yeah i totally agree with that comment if they meant to say makeup isn't as popular as it was because i do feel like the beauty space yes it's still really popular but i feel like it is kind of dying out and i really do feel like the over oversaturation uh, over saturation of brands really has made that happen because it's like so overwhelming when you like get out there to look for you know say for example a foundation there's like five thousand foundations to choose from in just one store it's like Oh my God, it's overwhelming. Like there's just way too much. But anyways, this is the answer to that question right here. Honestly, yes and no. If I launched this makeup line in 2018, I'd probably be a billionaire right now. And I'm not going to pretend like that doesn't make me so sad. Laugh my ass off. On the other hand, at the time, I didn't have a strong idea for the brand I wanted to own. Years later, although the industry isn't as popping as it once was, I've taken my time and I'm now really proud of the brand identity, packaging and products I've been able to create. And that means more to me than money which I do feel like is obviously a little bit of a cliche answer, but I do feel like at least he's keeping it real. But I really am curious to know if you guys think that he would have been a billionaire. I do feel like if he would have came out with his brand in 2018, he was like, woo, on the rise. Like, honestly, y'all, his YouTube videos were like averaging above 5 million views. And obviously that has dropped big time. I do feel like because of the beauty space as well as his controversies, you know what I'm saying? I do feel like that took away from his shine. And I really am curious, speaking of his controversies, like, do you feel like brands like Sephora and Ulta would be carrying his product? Because if you guys don't remember, I'm not going to go down that whole thing because I did make videos about it. But but even Morphe dropped him. So I'm really curious to know if big brands would be carrying his product in store or this is going to be e-commerce only. Also, I want to ask you guys the question of moving forward, do you guys feel like him coming out with a brand, would you guys be purchasing anything from his brand? Say, for example, if he came out with like such an innovative, cool product that isn't really out there on the market, would you guys purchase it? Or are you guys just like, no, I'm not going to purchase it. I don't care to support him. I really am curious on that. So make sure you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on everything and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, Girl Scout.